Qingbian, located at southern Yunnan. With boundless forests surrounded by the fog, everything grows in fairyland. At the foot of the mountain, the Nanxi River is roaring and daunting. Above the turbulent river, between cliffs, the inverted V Bridge, which was built in 1908, still stands erect. It is a landmark of Yunnan Vietnam Railway and a miracle in the history of human bridge building. It makes natural barrier accessible. It witnesses the pastoral life of Ping Dian people. At 9 a.m., Ting Ni Juan walks in the mountain to pick up two kinds of weeds. Zhuang people pass down the dietary wisdom saying, the herbs in the wild will be a treasure if you know how to use them. Purple-blue herb and red-blue herb now in Tian Li Chuan's hand. After washing, put the red-blue herb in cold water. After being boiled, the water turns orange. Stir from purple-blue herb with fierce fire. When the water is added, purple juice shows. If it is mixed with straw ash, after mashing, add hot water. Purple-blue herb can turn into blue dye. The juice is churning, and the bubbles are as dense as beer. In this one, the air-dried Budlija officinalis extracts yellow. Everything is ready, and the protagonist appears. Soak glutinous rice in herb dyes of different colors for a while. When the rice is fished out, it is gorgeous and colorful. Soak the yellow glutinous rice in blue juice. It turns green miraculously. It is the bride price from nature to the Zhuang people, a reward for their hard work. After the colorful glutinous rice is steamed, it is like an overturned palette, and the colors are pleasing. Crystal rice grains are soft, glutinous, and sweet and herbal aroma is exuded in the steam. The traditional Zhuang-colored glutinous rice ushers in a gorgeous moment. The creator hides beauty in the leaf, but the intelligent Zhuang people discover the secret of colors. They put the spring into a bowl. The yellow, green, orange, blue, and purple rice is the oriental romance comparable to France. It is the experience and wisdom passed down by Zhuang people generation after generation. It is also a totem of their own aesthetics and happiness.